What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel here live. We're Madden 20 Pink Slips episode 52 as we get ready to kick off the 2012 regular season. We got two really, really big games there. Week two and week three that we're going to be hopping in and playing against the Giants and against the Cowboys. In year one, we took one of the lowest overall rated teams, if not the lowest rated team in this save, which was my Philadelphia Eagles. And we started as I think a 78... Maybe a 79 overall. And we enter year two, 84. Now, you know, I, I do still think a big reason for that rating is our quarterback that is very old. Donovan McNabb's 35. So I, I don't really know in terms of, you know, the window. How, how much longer we like, we're kind of screwed. Brady Quinn's not going to be the guy if Donovan McNabb. Because that was the big question going into last offseason. It was like, oh my God, is McNabb, is Donnie going to retire? And he came back. But it's going to be like that every year until he does retire. Or every year until we win a Super Bowl and at least can you know can move on. So as it stays right now, we got McNabb. He's 97, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. But I feel like we're on a little bit borrowed time. This might, I'm going to say, I see quarterback, yeah, this, this could be it. This could be his last hurrah. Unless we save up huge arsenal's XP and try to get the quarterback retirement boost. Uh, we got superstar dev Peyton Hillis at running back. This is in real life anyways. You're trying to correlate it to real life. This is right about um, the year after. He was the cover of Madden 12. So, I mean, he should be one of the more entertaining running backs of the league. We have Percy Harvin, Julio Jones at wide receiver, Eric Weems. We got Josh Gordon, a young Josh Gordon. We still got Devin Hester on special teams. Uh, you know, I'm happy with that. We got Gronk at tight end. O-line is really solid. We got Joe Thomas. We won late on a five-star spin the wheel at the conclusion of the 2011 season. Jason Kelsey's doing his thing in the center of the defense. We got Brian Bulaga at right tackle. Uh, Todd Harriman's back with the Philadelphia Eagles. Generally speaking, I mean, we could still improve our guards, but I'm happy with the O-line. I'm happy with the offense. Flip it to the defense. Uh, the front four, really, we have, the, you know, the, the lowest rated starter on our team is this D-end, which is not great, but um, generally speaking, we will be going into, like, our subsets, and Arakpo will be down there as a defensive end. We'll go Wagner. D'Amico Ryans, and maybe Vontez Perfect as our, you know, our starting linebackers. But on that front, I mean, it's obviously highlighted by an X-Factor in Adama Kinsu, an X-Factor in J.J. Watt. We got Eric Berry back there at free safety with his X-Factor. We got D'Amico Ryans. I do kind of want to uh, to change up my abilities. I, I think what would be the most impactful ability? I'm thinking I want it on the line. So I'm going to I'm gonna take away... What's his? All oh, feel knocked out of their zone. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take away Eric Berry. His shutdown. I'm gonna give it to JJ Watt. I feel like that's I you know I use your D line. I'm a filthy D line user. I want as many abilities that I can have just to swap. Um, but yeah, I mean yeah, our secondary. We got Eric Berry, Cam Chancellor, who's working on his rating. We got Vontae Davis, Joe Hayden, Chris Harris Jr. Uh, linebacker core of Arakpo, D'Amico Ryan's Bobby Wags, and kind of like Josh Gordon on the offense. Took a flyer on a character, low character guy, Vontez Perfect. Hopefully, he can develop into something special on our defense. Special teams. We got Akers and Johnny Hecker. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to have to, you know, David Akers, legend for the Philadelphia Eagles, but you can't work with that. 77 kick power. We got to move on. We got Legatron and we got Johnny Hecker. We pretty much got the Rams special teams for like the better part of the last decade, as well as Hester as our return man. So, really happy with where our team's at for an 84 overall. Definitely think we should be, considering how close we were last year, being first team out of the playoffs in 2011, I think we should have expectations of making the playoffs this year. So we're going to sim that game against the Cardinals, play the two divisional games in the middle, and then finish up with a sim at home against the Atlanta Falcons. Let's get into it. Let's see how, you know, the best Eagles team we've we've been uh, handles the sim. We're up to get a field goal on the opening drive. Arizona's not an overpowered team by any means. This should definitely be a game that we win. But you never know. You know, last year we didn't win our first sim game till really the last like four or five games of the season. So my expectations anytime we go in the sim, even if I have a 95 overall team, the sim is so bad in Madden 20 and hopefully he gets some love and attention in Madden 21. But who am I kidding? Hashtag fix Madden franchise. Let's not get our hopes up. But it's just so inconsistent, so unrewarding. Uh, kills the immersion. I, I mean, there's always the valid point. Hey, we got the dub, 27-16. There's always a valid point. Well, if you don't like the sim, play your games. Which, I mean, I guess that is kind of a kind of a response. But, 
you know, for franchise and stuff like that. It still, it still shouldn't be this bad. But either way, we got a dub. Opening game, a dub, 27-16. I'll go calculate the star rating. All right, so it, was just, it was just a nice win. We won the game, which is worth one star. Looking at our player performances, Donovan McNabb went over three passing touchdowns or hit three passing touchdowns, which is worth half a star. Okay, game from Hillis. Two touchdowns for Weems in the slot. Seven for 98 two. That's another thing they got to fix in Matt. How come the Sim? It's always the slot wide receiver. But even though, even though Eric Weems is pretty awesome. But Eric Weems with his two receiving touchdowns is worth half a star. Uh, on the defensive side, Bobby Wagner, that's his regular season debut, showing that he's going to be a tackle machine. He was our first round pick. Uh, didn't get you know the score we're looking for here. Very close for Dalvin Kitsu. No interceptions. So it ends up being a two-star performance, but because it was a sim, we got to have it. It's a one-star, a plus two upgrade for the Philadelphia Eagles. We really had two options when it came to a plus two. One, we could have flipped Vontae Davis, 84 superstar. He's only 24. Four, Cortland Finnegan to get an X-Factor, but I mean, we wouldn't really be able to utilize that X-Factor because I don't think I'd want my corner to have it. Uh, and he's, you know, he's older. He's 28, but it would be a big upgrade. But for me, I'm still looking. We have Alex McGee as a starter, a 78 or 68 25 normal dev starter they got olivier vernon which is a plus two he's in his rookie year to miami 70 with a hidden dev has a face scan which is always kind of a little bit of a plus i think just improving the d line is is kind of the direction we need to go so there we go very small upgrade but at least it kind of gives us get rid, get rid of, of our only normal dev starter left on the defense no 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 we got turned around and cam wake responds for the Giants defense big sack god man we can't even get it out I feel like Dominic Mapp has one of the crappier QB releases that are in the game he just knows a lot of like for a 97 should be getting rid of that ball but I mean this is the hardest game we're gonna play all year both games against the Giants consistently until we have to start worrying about playing Hawaii Warriors or playing I mean I, I, the Houston Oilers are still pretty good this Giants team is so stacked which makes it even like, I want to win that much. Oh, no. Oh, why did that happen? I want to win it even more because we win. We're going to slowly not, you know, get exciting players to our own roster. But we're going to deplete the most overpowered roster. Maybe in the NFC. 3 now. We got to punt, punt it. Punt it. Oh, that is not good. Asante Samuel. Oh, it's a foot race. Beating Asante Samuel, outrunning Sean Taylor, 90 yards, Julio Jones. That's the kind of explosive plays that were few and far between last season when we were playing anyways. And that was just excellent play call. Excellent play call. One of the best wide receivers, best young wide receivers in the NFL, putting all of his talents on full display. First and 10. Let's see if we can put Matt Ryan here under some pressure. They are in scoring range. Ooh, bad angle cam chancellor. But there is a gang of dudes. To limit that to a two-yard gain. Look at that draft class. Don't even need to see it. Josh Norman. Bobby Wags. Where's Bobby Wags at? He's up here. Let me cover that tight end. Do I think they're going to run it? Let's see. Let's use our linebacker. That's what I can do. I can use our linebacker and do nothing. I don't know about the running back, though. Is that Tony Hunt? I he's on the... like. They got like a 60 overall. Everything good. Everything's good about them except the running back. Remember they had Michael Turner. Oh, they don't need a running back. They have Santonio Holmes and Antonio Brown and Wes Welker. That was just bad coverage. Good throw, Matt Ryan. Good route ran for him to get that wide open, and we're tied up. This is going to be a high-scoring game, I think. Oh, that foot stepped out. How do I challenge this? There's nothing to chat. Watch his foot. That's out of bounds. He did not reestablish himself. Look at this. That is not a touchdown. Please review this. Whoa, no. That's highway robbery. Go Donovan Ab. Wide open field. Still got some legs. He's up there in age a little. Oh, we got a slide, old man. That's going to feel real bad in the morning tomorrow. We can hit that. Let's go to the left. Ooh, that's a lot of star power over there. Maybe let's go to the right. Underman for blockers, but less talent. Oh, and it works. Break some ankles, and Peyton Hillis is in, and the Eagles regain the lead. Lincoln Financial Field. 
popping off right now. Oh. Not cool. Who is that? That's Antonio Holmes again? The Sean Jackson's who they have. Oh. Yeah, the Sean Jackson will do that to you. Follow blitz. Third and goal. Ooh, Vontez perfect out there, but we want we want obviously the better play here. D'Amico Ryans. Get through the trap. There's a big TFL Broderick Bunkley. And that's a loss of two. We all do a field goal attempt. Oh no. Oh. That was anyone else other than Sean Taylor, I'd be complaining, but that's what he does. It's a huge hit, man. Sean Taylor on Gronk, wouldn't that have been a one hell of a matchup to see in real life? Jesus. Go oh, nice sack, Brian Arakpo. Oh, he didn't get the full sack. Wish he did. Help for pink slip scoring, but I'll take the sack nonetheless. Third and 17. Let's, let's keep up with the blitz, man. It's how we get home. We got Sue and Watt. Yeah, that's going to be a nightmare to try to get tag. Camp chance. Ladies, play it safe and kick the field goal. Could have been a lot worse after the turnover. You get your bullshit. There's our bullshit touchdown back. Slants. A slants touchdown to make up for the touchdown that they have that should have 150 billion percent not counted. 61 yards on the slant to Julio Jones. This is a big one. Fourth and one on our own 47. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust our own O-line on this one. Come on. Yes! There's no way. Like, I don't think I've ever seen Peyton Hillis. Unless it's like a design, like, toss or something like that that does not work. He gets at least one yard every time. Which, I mean, he has the bulldozer ability. I would hope something like that would... Ooh, ooh something like that would be, you know, the, the cause and effect of having such a, a really good superstar ability. And there we go. Going for it. In front of our home crowd. Keeping that momentum. Why is Sean Taylor so... Oh, he's so annoying. Oh, get home. The Daba can sue. Should be the day. I mean, this game's over. Let's, just, let's see if we just start racking up some sacks here. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here, young man. And there's another touchdown. Very nice. Ooh, there we go. Game sealing interception, Avante Davis. He won the game as a divisional victory, won by exactly 21. So that's two and a half stars just from the victory outright. Looking at our player performances, over 300 yards for Donovan McNabb, which is worth half a star. Over 100 yards. Um, over 100 yards and two touchdowns for Peyton Hillis, one full star. We got 195 yards, two touchdowns for Julio Jones. That's one full star from him. Defensively, two sacks from Broderick Bunkley's worth half. We had interception, Vontae Davis. Bobby Wagner also got a pick. Two picks equals one full star. It's a six and a half star performance. You can only get a five. It's a five star spin at the wheel. And you're going to be getting a huge player. A back in return from the New York Giants. All right, let's spin the wheel. No bad options. Only good options here. From that huge week two victory, man, if we could, if we go 4-0 in the episode, I'm going to be ecstatic. But we still have the chance because we've got this. Oh, it's the pig special. Cool. Plus two throw power to Don McNabb, which, I mean, I don't know how much we're going to be able to use of that. But plus two acceleration, plus two sprint speed to any player on our squad. Don McNabb, we only use the one, but it does take him up to a 98 overall, which is where he was last year before he regressed. But now looking at the speed here. Plus two. I mean, we could give Hillis 90-90. Um... Percy, 90, you know, hmm. I don't know, actually. Gronk, maybe? I'm just trying to think. It's not going to be between Peyton Ellison, because, I mean, I would say Julio to just give him 97 sprint. Or Percy Harvin would give him 99. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to use it on Gronk. I think push coming, because, I mean, you know, more so for, you know, no, screw it. Use what he called more. Peyton Hillis. We're going to give him 90-90. Right across the board here. Congratulations. I think he went one of overall point two. Pretty cool. Now let's get our plus 10 upgrade from the New York Giants. 
So I'm being a little bit fair. Uh, I don't want to make my team a super juggernaut. Yeah, I mean, here, uh, basically, I could have got Antonio Brown as well. Um, I don't know if it's just I'm tired of AB still from how much and how much focus he was on the channel on the Raiders franchise. But I could have got uh, flipped Weems for Antonio Brown. But just at the sake of trying to prolong the inevitable here, I, I decided we'll just go Joseph Adai, 59 star. We're going to flip that for Trent Richardson, 62 normal. Yeah, just a small upgrade there. But here we go. We're going to flip Percy Harvin, 85 superstar, for Deshaun Jackson. We're giving up a year in age, but it's Deshaun Jackson. Him on the Giants, in particular, looks very, very weird. And then we're going to flip uh, Terrell Thomas, 74 normal, for Richard Sherman, who's a 78 superstar dev corner. So, yeah, maybe I'm showing a little bit of sympathy, a little bit of mercy here by not just taking Deshaun Jackson, Richard Sherman, and an X-Factor Antonio Brown. But I, I feel like on a big win like this, I mean, we're already getting a lot of talent. Do I want to... I'm not desperate enough. This was year one, Philly, where we had no one. We didn't have any playmakers, really. 100% would be, would be you know, getting Antonio Brown. But you know what I'm saying? It ma makes it a little bit more competitive. And, uh, who, you know, who wants to win the Super... Maybe the way to say this is that in my head, my goal isn't to generally win the Super Bowl as fast as I can with the Philadelphia Eagles. I want to build the team that I want. I mean, this kind of stinks, and I love Percy Harvin too, but obviously Deshaun Jackson is Deshaun Jackson. I'm a huge fan of Richard Sherman, so there's a little bit of that into it. You know, it's not a, it's not a sprint. It's, it's not necessarily also a marathon, but uh, yeah, just trying to justify what's going on here. We're able to import our draft class, and it's the 2013 draft. Um, I mean, look at it from an Eagles standpoint. It's not all about just trying to recoup the Eagles, even though we just got Deshaun Jackson. I would love to get Lane Johnson. Um, so we got Lane Johnson in the first round, you know, kind of busty first round of top 10 at least. Outside of that though, you know, there's still a lot of butt, man, a lot of busts. A lot of guys that, you know, didn't really live up to the, Eifert, uh, Xavier Rhodes, DeAndre Hopkins, Nuck would be phenomenal to bring on Travis Frederick. Going to the second round, you got Zach Ertz, you got big play Darius Slay, would like to bring him. Another well, two Eagles right there back to back, Kiko Alonzo, Le'Veon Bell. Uh, not the not the scariest draft in terms of talent. You got Travis Kelsey at the bottom end, big old Eddie Lacy. But uh, you know, I'm pretty sure when all is said and done, we'll have a really solid draft board that we're satisfied with. And probably gonna play ourselves out of Lane Johnson contention, but looking more so late end of the first round, early second. Um, yeah, Xavier Rhodes, DeAndre Hopkins, Frederick on the actually well not so much because we have Kelsey already at center, Ertz, Slay. There's plenty of options for us. Third and five. In to Dallas Cowboy territory. Never want to lose to Dallas at home. Real life. Madden game. Don't matter. Oh, you could almost say the 90 speed is what... Oh, made that? With his new speed. Got some Mexican supplements that upped his speed. Peyton Hill is feeling sprock. First down on the screen pass. Sean? A not the bomb, but the Sean Jackson. I mean, he never has been in Philly. We drafted him at Hawaii. He went to New York. Now in his rightful home in Philadelphia, there's his first touchdown in an Eagles uniform. Ooh, press coverage. Only one deep safety. Ah, disgusting. Oh, it's disgusting. Go for two. Let's make up for that missed field goal. Can't trust the computer to do a goddamn thing right. Gronk. Gronk. I mean, Dallas is really bad. They're like a 77 overall. They might be the worst team in the league. So this could be another five star. But if we get a five star, we just got to up the, t up the difficulty to all Madden. Because that's two five stars in an episode. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Even though it's looking like, you know, we're on course for that. Damn it, they're gonna get points. Ah, spend no break. Find a way to just hold them to a field goal. That'd be a massive win here for the defense. Flacco sees play. He's in rhythm. We gotta get him out of rhythm. That's not, that's not how to do it. Joy Bell on the toss. C4 special using her own play against us. Dallas getting back in this game before halftime. 
Come on, MVP Donnie. It's MVP season for Donovan McNabb. You got these weapons. This might be your final hurrah. Why not go all in? Gronk, big time touchdown. Gives that cushion a little bit more plush. I don't know why. That's what I get for running a slant. Deshaun Jackson like stopped on his route. And we still threw it to him anyway like an idiot. Fuck, did Joyke Bell learn how to do that? Joyke Bell is Ezekiel Elliott. Come on, man. We are just... We're not doing much on defense. Offense, we can go up down the field and scoring points, but defensively, they're just finding ways to get annoyingly long drives. They're chewing up three, four minutes every single time. Joe Flacco at the end of the day. Oh, they're not going to give us two C4 specials. I don't think so. That would be completely unacceptable. Even though Joyke Bell is apparently the greatest running back since Walter Payton. I wonder if there is something like that. Where like it's just Dallas has this thing in Madden where it's like, all right, Zeke needs to be good. So whoever's there is going to play like Zeke. Just so Zeke's numbers reflect. I don't know. It just feels like... Uh, what Joy Bell's overall is, but he's playing like a night, like you know, Edger and James. He's been the best running back so far here in these rebuilds or in the the series flashback. Great tackle there by D'Amico Ryan's. Joy Bell's god damn man, he's playing well. Are they gonna go for it? Kick the field goal. They're kicking the field. Ah, that was a big sack. Paul Plazlozny. I don't know how many sacks he has his career, but that's that's a big one. No. You guys just fall apart here. I'm gonna have to burn a timeout so that we can change personnel or something. Let's go, fellas. Do not lose to Joe Flacco. Do not lose to Joe Flacco. Do not lose to Joe Flacco. That's all I'm thinking right now in my head. Oh, get out of here. I love hate that tackle in or hate that animation in general, but when it goes in our favor. It's not the worst thing in the world. Second and ten. I still don't think we've got a, on, got a sack on him. Maybe we haven't got a. If we got a sack, it was in like the first quarter. This O line has been exceptional, and when we needed one, I think that was D'Amico Ryan's coming through on the sack. Either way, third and fifteen. This has to be a shot towards the end zone. It's all Madden, so it's probably going to be a check down, which it kind of is. We've got enough time. We saved our ass. Thank God. Very close. Started that game thinking it was going to be a just a complete rout. Five star. Dallas gave us a fight, man. It's Philly Dallas, best rivalry in football. I'll calculate the stars. We'll be back in a sec. In the game, and it was a divisional victory, so that is two stars. For our player performances, Donovan McNabb got three passing touchdowns, which is worth half a star. Uh, very close to scoring for Peyton Hills, but two, no, no cigar. Got over 100 yards for Julio Jones, which is worth half a star. Two touchdowns for Deshaun Jackson, which is worth half a star. And I don't think we got, we thought it was Miko Ryan's got that sack at the end. It was Brian Arakpo, but we got no scoring from the defense. So it's a three and a half star performance. We round down to a three star plus six upgrade for the Philadelphia Eagles. This is like a really bad roster. So it's, it's one of those like kind of meh upgrades, but we're gonna flip Captain Marlin 24, 73 normal for Mike Jenkins, who is 27, 79 star dev, but he's a scheme fit. Kind of worth talking about here. This is a big matchup. Week four, both undefeated, three and oh, three and oh. And just look at some of the ties here. You know, we know what we got on Philly, but look, this is, this might be like the last peak McNabb versus peak Michael Vick rivalry game. And that was, that was a rivalry game back in the day. When I was a young Eagle fan, that's one of the ones you wanted to see. And look, they got T.O. there, as is like, oh, you know, not affiliated within this Madden save. But there, there's some connections between these two teams. It's going to be a big time matchup. Real good idea how well this Eagles team will play in this game. We can knock off Atlanta, a team that's even better than us, that has perennial MVP Michael Vick. Michael Vick's been the, you know, in terms of winning awards and stuff in this flashback franchise, it's probably been Michael Vick. I think he's got two MVPs, three MVPs, somewhere in that territory. So our defense needs to, you know, he's stepping up. We're down 10-ish. Yeah, 10 at halftime. Oof, Atlanta's, 
That is dogging us a little bit in our own. There we go. Touchdown the third. Field goal. Ooh, okay. We're, we're, we got some momentum there to close it up. Keeping it within three, but, eh. Too little too late. And the win streak's over. Three and one to open up the year. Calculate the stars. Give me a sec. Calculate our stars here. Uh, it wasn't a, you know, a bad loss from Pink Slip's standards. They won the game, which is worth one star. Looking at their player stats. It wasn't actually Michael Vick. It was another eagle, Darren Sproles, that gave it to us. He got one full star for going over 100 yards and two rushing touchdowns. Uh, nothing there from the receiver. I mean, Darren Sproles, unreal performance. Uh, they got two sacks here from Kevin Williams, which is worth half a star. It's a two and a half performance because it's a sim. You cut it in half, 1.25. We round up. It's a two star plus four upgrade for the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, with the Falcons plus four victory, they're going to take away our corner one. They're going to send us Brandon Carr. He's a solid player, 80 star. It's not like I'm going to be super upset, but you know, we're still losing a superstar dev corner here. 84 Vontae Davis. Now I will say I took a little bit of liberty about picking him instead of Joe Hayden because obviously I like Joe Hayden Gator bias but uh it's you know it's still an annoying loss to the back end of our defense that's where we're gonna end the episode three and one to start things off looking at the division to first place in the NFC East couldn't have asked for a better start uh, was, let's, let's be honest I was an awesome game against Atlanta should you know things continue along this path for the season that could be the NFC championship game that's kind of where we're setting our sights but we got some nice players here for sure Happy with our roster's at, even losing Vontae Davis. You know, we're still okay. We got Deshaun Jackson back in Philadelphia where he belongs. On the defensive side, we got our boy uh, Olivier Vernon on the defensive end. Nice. I mean, even though he's most known kind of being a giant, but not bad. Uh, Brandon Carr and Mike, uh, Mike Jenkins welcome themselves to the secondary, even though I definitely want to put my own guys there, right? Eh? I don't know if I'm going to... Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and that's it, right? I believe that's all we want. That is all we want, but happy with it. Three and one to start things off. And I hope you guys were thoroughly entertained with this episode 52 of Flashback Pink Slips in Madden 20. Like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Subscribe, especially if you want to be on the train to Madden 21. It's only going to get better. Or we're just going to try to make the best out of a bad Madden 21 situation. That does it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching and see you guys around. Peace out.